or maybe it's a completely different day and you are watching this on the replay. So tonight we're doing a goldfish curry. This is how it hopefully will look and it's a simply cook recipe. If you don't know what simply cook is, um, it's a basically like a subscription box service. You can get ones delivered to your house, get four recipes if you're in the UK for free with free delivery. Links on my bio or you can go to a supermarket and you can if you see them on the on the aisle on the sh on the supermarket shelf pick one up and uh, you know they're easy to follow so this is what we're going to be making tonight so i first of all i'd like to thank uh fredolin for my great discussion award thank you so much for sending me that award i literally i put up the event and uh i think it was within like 10 seconds i couldn't believe it and then i thought i don't usually get awards on my uh events so thank you there for coming in so hey Melanie, good to see you. Hello Jay, great to see you. Um, yeah, I am. I am here. I'm here. <laughs> so so what is a go? Well, it's not actually called go, and it's called a goan. It's a goan fish curry. What what is he's a goan fish curry? Well, it's a team and customer favourite alike. This delicate tomato and coconut curry hits the spot with a spice blend of mustard seed, chili, turmeric, and star anise. And it's great with fish, prawns or chicken. So if you don't want to do fish, you could do uh, shrimp, like Alexis did the other day, or prawns or chicken or any other sort of meats uh, would work perfectly with this. So let's have a look at the flavour pots. Thank you so much, Melanie, for the award. I do appreciate it. Um, so what we're going to need for this then, you need... Oh, let me take the pod out of the fridge. I forgot to take it out in a second. One moment, guys. If I can find it. Hiding away. <clears throat> okay, so I've got the fish here. So it's been in the fridge just to keep fresh. So we've got two boneless cod fillets. But what you're going to need for this um, is um, 100 and, so you want 250 grams. So they're fine. They're fine because we're going to break these up. Um, you need, they need to be sliced into large chunks. We need one onion. Now, this is the onion that was I've grown myself. Well, not grown myself, but uh, from the allotment. Look at the size of that onion, guys. So this is an onion we're going to use. Uh, I look so good today. No wrinkles, so young and fresh. Oh, thanks, Jay. <laughs> Thank you. Can you believe I'm going to be 31 this week? From Not this week, from Friday. Um, oh, somebody making a noise. And then we're going to need some tomatoes. I forgot to get tomatoes. Out. So we're just going to get a few tomatoes. Just hand-picked tomatoes, not be a second. I think the small, it should be okay. It just says two tomatoes, although I do have a tin of tomatoes I could use. I think I'm going to use a tin, actually. I'm going to save them. I'm actually going to use a tin of tomatoes that I got from the new Aldi store the other day. Yeah, these are chopped tomatoes. So, I don't know. Have a guess. How many tomatoes do you reckon are in a whole tin of chopped tomatoes? How many do you think? 400 grams. What do you think? It says, I'm just imagining two giant tomatoes chopped up compared to a tin of tomatoes. How many do you reckon are in a chopped... See, that's got tomato juice, so... Hmm... Yeah, we'll we'll put the tomato juice in as well. We might as well. It'll give us some. It'll give a lot of flavour, won't it? So, uh, and then we're gonna need some basmati rice. So we've got some basmati rice, and we've got coconut milk. So, so should I use about half? What do you think? Hmm. I'm just thinking. Yeah, two hundred grams. Because I, did, I didn't really get much tomato actually in the dish, so it's meant to be with tomato. So I reckon, well, we can always put half in and then we can decide. So, right, let's weigh the rice. So we're going to weigh, weigh, weigh the rice, weigh the rice, we're going to weigh the rice. So let's get this done. So you see me use a lot of rice, don't I? Just use quite a lot of rice. Uh, Jay says, How late did you stay at the pub? I didn't sing no, and it wasn't long because I don't, <laughs> it wasn't long. Um, right, so rice, let's pop this in. I think I was only there for about half an hour. <laughs> yeah, put half of it, it's not enough to add the rest. This won't be enough. Although, saying that, I've got more cod, I think. Let me just check. I've got 250 grams of cod. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll use just half then. 
Right, let's do the rice. The fluffy rice. So I need 120 grams. Oh, oh no, all the rice is gone everywhere. There we go. Perfect. So I'm gonna, I need to pop the rice through some water. So let me just do that quickly. So you don't have to, with jasmine rice, you don't need to rinse it through to my, uh, through any water. So I'm just going to do that quickly. One second. I've still got my plaster on my finger. Hopefully I can get rid of it this week or before the end of the week. So I'm just going to drain that through some water and then I'm going to put it into my dish. Okay, and then we're going to boil some hot water because I find that's quicker, quicker to uh, to cook the rice. Okay, so let me get rid of this plate, get rid of the scales, and then I'll show you what flavours we've got for this. So hopefully this is something you can make yourself, and okay, so hopefully this is something you can make yourself at home. It's not too difficult. Right, I was looking to hunger. So we've got in here, we should have some masala paste, coconut paste, and a spot, excuse me, a spice blend. So here we go. See how it comes guys. So you've seen me do these before in the flat packs. So masala paste, we've got some coconut paste, you put the hole in. Yeah, I'm thinking about, well, I don't know. I think they should use the whole amount. We'll put half in and then I can always use the other half. For, um, I can always make like a Mexican stew or something. So I'm going to put that to one side, just waiting for the kettle to boil. Okay. Now what we need to do then, it says we need to finely chop the onion. So we're going to finely chop this onion. Can you all see this okay, everyone? Oh, my notification just come up for YouTube. So, welcome to all my viewers watching on YouTube. Right, so, we're gonna, probably won't have to use all this. This is a really good onion. Let me try and cut this. Yeah, I'm not gonna use it all, but I'm trying not to cut my hand off. Wow, look at this onion, guys. Grow myself. There we go. It's huge, isn't it? We've had a really good summer. Well, it's not been hot, but it's sort of been, it's been warmer than normal, hasn't it? Even though we've had all that cloud, cloudy weather. But this week, it's going to get to about 20, no, it's actually going to get to 31 degrees. It will be 31 degrees on uh, Wednesday, so it's going to get very hot. So... Okay, I'm just going to chop this in half and then we'll use the dicer and get rid of these skins. I don't think I'm ever going to need all of this. But you can't beat the smell of fresh onions. So good. Right, let's just take the skin off so I don't waste all the onion. And then we're just going to cut it up a little bit smaller. I'm not going to, I'm going to use the dicer because I like equal sizes. Rid of that piece. Right, get the dicer. Where's that plate gone again? Actually, what I'll do, <clears throat> put it through this. All right, how are we doing it? I'm just wondering. Yeah, we'll do it into small chunks. Small chunks. So I'm going to pop this through. Can you all see this? All right, guys. Can you all see me using this? this goes, doesn't matter as long as it all goes in. And I'll just cut this one up a little bit small. I've got quite a lot of onion haven't I? Hello Bo, good to see you. Yeah I'm live, happy Sunday. Oops. So we've got some onion here, look how, look how finely chopped this is. Are you ready? 
Look at that. Can you see that, guys? Yeah, the answer Switzerland. I. So I think that's enough onion, actually. I shall do a little bit more. And then he said, I said a large onion, so if we're going to put, put more tomatoes in, then I might as well add a bit more onion in there. So let me get this pan nice and hot. Save me waiting around. I need to put on the rice. Turn that on as well. And then put some hot water in. Hot boiling water into my rice. So I don't need loads. I'll do because I can always pass it through a sieve. I'm going to put my steamer on the top and that'll just help it cook a bit quicker, okay? Ooh. Right. So, um, Right, okay, so the pan is getting hot. Let me just do the other ones. And do these ones as well. So hopefully having a nice day. Yeah, lots of onion, I do like onion. Oh, thanks, Jay, thanks. I'm not going anywhere, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere just yet. I'll come live and cook. I was going to say is I just won't be on all the time. <laughs> so. so let's just cut up a little bit more onion. I think that's enough. I think that actually I shall have a bit more. I'm going to put the whole of the tomatoes in and then I can always use that as a base and then if I do some chicken or something tomorrow I'll just add the cooked chicken to the to the uh, to the dish, you know, because I'll have taken all the cod out. Because then you've got a nice, a nice base. Okay, that's come off now, so that's it's, it's done. So it says, it says to heat one tablespoon of oil in a medium pan. So we're going to put the oil in. Just use all that out. Right, okay, so it's going to get heat, that's going to heat up, and then what we're going to do is add the onions and we're going to add the tomatoes. Okay, so both is way lots of onion. Yeah, well, it'll, it'll, it'll act as a base. It'll act as a base. So, uh, E O O, E O O. Hmm. So, yeah, look at my finger still, still a bit. One second. Give me a two in the box if you, if.
Is that okay now? Right, I'm going to add the onions. Let's carry on. I'm going to add the onions. Yeah, I think I've done too many onions. <laughs> so I'm going to get them sizzling. Mmm, they're good onions. Mmm, really nice. Oh, it says connection's good now. That's a good idea, yeah, I could freeze them. I'm just going to coat them in the oil and get them, get them softened. So let's just add a handful more of onions, two handfuls. A little bit more oil. Hey Mike, how are you doing buddy? Let's add some oil in here. A little bit more. Because I added a bit more onion in here. So tonight uh, we're doing a go and fish curry. This is how it's hopefully going to look. Let me know how the signal is Mike. Smells so good already. So, so good. Right, I'm going to have to chop the cod up next. So let's put this to one side. Signal's good, awesome. That's what I like to see. So we're going to take the cod, I'm going to, we need to cut these into large chunks. Check this out, this is boneless cod fillets. Get rid of some of that fish water. I like how Eden cooks. He's he he likes screw it. Let's let's just try it exactly. Yeah. Thanks, Bo. Yeah, I'll be coming live doing. Well, I'll always be cooking on here. I do love the platform. I really do love the platform. So we've got our nice fish fish cod cod fillets. Look at that. Get rid of packaging. I'm just gonna just cut these into large chunks. And we'll add the tomatoes in a second. So I'm gonna cut them into like little squares. So at least then you get a good it's a bit like sushi, you know, when you eat I would never eat raw fish though. Perhaps we never made sushi have we? Like we need to make sushi. I do actually like sushi, but I've never made them. We should do our own Chinese Chinese uh, food. That would be a good idea. I'm always doing like Thai food. Although it doesn't cost you $30, Mike, for that one dish. Do you remember? <laughs> so, no award to give on sufficient balance. Oh, never mind, Mike. You're all right. Rice is boiling away nicely as well. So we're just softening the onions down. We've got the cod. Next thing we're going to do is add the tomatoes. We've got our flavour pots here as well. So we're going to take the tomatoes. Remember, this there's actually a juice in this as well, so. I'm going to add it all in Melanie. So, it is, yeah, it's Japanese. But we should do a, like Chinese and Japanese food. That would be nice. So this is quite a simple dish really. If you can find the spices and things, you know, that, that the flavours, then you, you, you could make this yourself. I'm just going to give it another minute just for the onions and then I'm going to add the... <laughs> that was quite funny that. It was funny that day. I was like, what? Yeah, so we're going to add the tomatoes in. I'm going to add it all in and then as I said, I can save some of this then. So in the tomatoes go. Chop tomatoes. Nothing left in that. 
Oh, they smell so good already. So we've got chopped tomatoes and onions. Now we'll give that a couple of minutes just to warm through and let the onions soften a bit longer. So, yeah, I was like, oh, what? <laughs> um, so three minutes to soften for the onions. So I'll give it another minute and a half. Try and follow the uh, the guide, but or the recipe. And we're going to add in some masala paste. So we're going to add in. So if you've got any, if you can find any masala paste, that's what we're going to add next. Did you know that if you turn that can open a flat on top of a can, it removes the can lid without the sharp edge. So if you know if you turn that can open a flat on top. Do you mean? I think I know what you mean. I think I know what you mean. So, can opener. I did it on the side, didn't I? I think. Yeah, I did it on the side, but if you put it on the top and then turn it that way, I think. Is that what you mean, Bo? I think that's what you mean. Could be wrong. <laughs> but I never knew that you could use a tin opener for... I didn't realise it was you could open bottles. Was it bottles? Oh no, that was for scissors, wasn't it? It was for these. This part here in the meat scissors. You basically can use it to open bottles. I didn't know that. So, so this smells really good already. Really good. Oh my, I'm tempted to add a little bit of tomato puree in, but I've got all the chopped tomatoes. Right, so we're going to add in the masala paste next. So masala paste is going in next. get this in and we'll use a teaspoon brings out all these flavours so there we go in there goes the masala paste you want to need to take it's a, it's about a tablespoon not a teaspoon a tablespoon worth of masala paste I actually have masala paste in the in the fridge so if I needed any more so we're gonna mix that in mix in the masala paste so just to recap, you've got a large onion chopped up, chopped tomatoes and masala paste. So we're going to let that cook for two minutes. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to add some in because... I've not got a lot, but I'm going to add a little bit in. I'm going to add a little bit of tomato puree in here. Do the if you roll it up and from the side, it'll, inch, it'll get any stuff at the bottom, and you'll get a lot more out of it. So always roll it up, okay? Mix that in. This smells so good already. So, two minutes to say, as I said, if you're making it with chicken, this is the point you would add the chicken to the pan. I'm making you all hungry now, guys. It's nine o'clock already, is it? I think yeah, because you're right. You're right on the right on the east, west coast of America. So it's like everywhere is ahead. The whole world is ahead. They're the last place, I think, aren't you? In oh, is that yeah? You're the last place in the day. This looks smells so good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add the coconut milk. I'm just thinking, oh, we add the cod later. So we're going to add some coconut milk in now. So here we've got 400 ml. I'm not going to use it all. Or should, maybe I, should, I think I am going to use it all because I've added more tomatoes. So I'm going to add it all. I'm going to add it all, guys. Yeah, like that. <laughs> I'm going to do it this way, though, because I'm used to doing it this way. Because I never used the coconut milk last time I had, so I'm making. I'm gonna be. I'm basically making enough for four people, but I'm not adding four amounts of cod. I'm only using it for two. So let's add the coconut milk in. Here we go. Oh yes. So in goes the coconut milk. 
I don't know if you, can, you can't really see it that well, but it's going to change the colour. It smells so good already. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going. Oh, we need to add the coconut paste in as well. So we've got some coconut paste going in here. The tamato, tamato. <laughs> we're going to add in the coconut paste. Get that in there. So what I really like about these uh, Simply Cook is they give you the right amount that you need for the recipe. And then it tells you exactly you know, what to do. You've seen me do these before. Okay, so let's add that, mix all that in. It smells so good, so fresh. And as I say, then the last thing to do is to add the um, we've got some spice blend going in and then we're going to add the cod. So we're going to let this simmer. It needs to simmer for five minutes so the sauce thickens slightly. Now extras for this you can have is lime, you could add spinach and we've also got some chopped coriander as well which I've grown. So it was about 12 here. Is this the temperature or oh, what warm last night it was 18. That's quite warm. That's quite warm. Yeah, I think it, it was quite, it wasn't as hot as, I think tonight's going to be warmer. It's about 17, I think, tonight. And then tomorrow, next couple of days, we're going to get up to about 31 degrees. Well, that's what it says on my, um, well, it says it's 27, but in the sun, if you were directly in the sun, out in the sun, the, the temperature and the humidity would be um, about 31 degrees. So, and Bo lives in Las Vegas, so yeah. <laughs> what was that? I could put the lid over if I wanted to. I'm just going to let it boil for a couple of minutes. Try and read some questions. Try and read some of your your messages. Yeah, it's quite hot. <laughs> Although we've not had a summer, so I'm really happy we're getting at least a week's worth of weather, nice weather. Because we've only had one week of hot weather, and every other day is being cloudy, pretty much, or below 20 degrees. Do you remember back in March we had a we had a week's worth of no, it was like two no, it was one day, one day of 28 degrees in March, which was really weird. And then since then we had, it was quite cloudy, but it, was got, it got very cold again. And then we had hot, and we had really cloudy weather. And then we had a hot spell for about a week. And then since then it's been, all, it's been cloudy since, throughout all of August, sort of in July and August. So cloudy. So I'm really looking forward to the, hot weather this week. So just mixing that in, just making sure that everything's warming through nicely. It does need to simmer, so it's on a high temperature. Oh my rice. Oh my rice is done. So a little trick with rice, you probably all know this anyway. Ah, so it doesn't burn. Just put a little bit of water in and give that a mix and then cover it over. And then it will just naturally dry and cook. So there's the steamed rice. There's the basmati rice. Yum, yum, yum. If you've got any tips about rice, you know, like I've done it before where I've added stock to rice, which is nice. So a nice um, stock goes nice with, with rice. So I'm trying not to rhyme. But if you've got any tips for flavour, and your flavour should come from your sauce. Right, well, let's put a lid over this. Pop that to one side. I've got my onions there. Oh. Do you want to see? Oh no, I would have shown you. There's a cat outside. You know, do you remember that cat? Same cat's outside. Hello, Javina. Thanks for joining. 
Javinus. Javina. So tonight we're doing this is a Goan fish curry. Although you can do it with chicken and you can make this also with prawns. I would really probably like to do this with prawns. So we're just letting it simmer just until the sauce thickens. Then we're going to add in some spice blend and then we're going to add in the fish. And then it's done. So simple. Oh, we've, got, we've also got some lime and coriander as well. So you can also make it milder by using full fat coconut milk. We, we're using coconut milk anyway, light coconut milk. Or you can serve it with yogurt. So if you have any yogurt, you can do this with yogurt. So I'm just letting this simmer a bit longer. But it smells really good. So just to recap then, we added one tablespoon of oil in a pan over medium high heat. We fried onions and then we added tomatoes. We then added a masala paste and cooked for two minutes or longer. Uh, then we added coconut milk, coconut paste, and we're about to add in the spice blend. So let's get the spice blend in. Let me know how the signal is, guys, out of 10. Let me know how the signal is. So we've got some spice blend going in here. I think it's starting to simmer. And don't forget, though, whenever you're, whenever you're pouring this... I'd rather have it a little bit more liquidy because it'll dry out anyway with in the dish and it'll add more flavour across the rice. Like when I mentioned just then about stock, if you've got stock in a rice, it adds more flavour. So you don't want it to be too thick, if you know what I mean. So I'm happy, don't overcook it. So let's add in the spice blend. Here's the spice blend. I think I told you what was in the spice blend, didn't I, the other day? Turmeric. Turmeric in this and... What else did I say? Oh, this smells so, so nice. I'll tell you what's in the spice blend. Let me just... So in the spice blend we have... Are you ready? If you want to take note to do this. You can add this to your tomatoes and onions. It's mustard seeds, ground spices, star anise and turmeric, onion powder, garlic powder, crushed chilies, and sunflower oil. So, right, let's add in the fish because this is what's going to take long now. So, in goes the fish. We're just going to pop it in to the dish. And this takes five minutes. Five minutes. We're using cod. So if you've got any other type of fish. That one goes done. And I'm just going to mix it all in. And that, everybody, is nearly finished. So we're just going to let that simmer now and we're basically done. That is that is the whole fish curry. So thank you guys. Thank you for the awards. <laughs> thank you for your claps. I just wash my hands. And then it's the best part is is eating it. It oh my god, the smells coming out of this kitchen right now is it's so nice. And it, you, you can just see it, can't you? You can just see it. It smells so nice. And all this is fresh. You know. It smells really good. Right, let's just kind of try and tidy up. Right, let's do the coriander next. So we're going to do, this is what's going to go on the top. And we've got some lime as well. So always squeeze your lime. Let all them juices come through. Um, some coriander. So I'm using the left, last of my coriander. I don't have much. So here's my fresh coriander. <laughs> That's how much I have. I hardly have anything. Hopefully it'll grow back next year. Well throughout the year. So 
Max says I use North African spice mix or Ras Al Hanout food. And oh yeah, I've got harissa. I've got some harissa paste as well. You could possibly add parsley if you wanted to. I've got loads of parsley. I might actually use parsley as well. Yeah, I'm gonna put I'm gonna do I've got some coriander, but I'm gonna use some parsley because I've got loads of parsley to use. I'll use it from the my other one. So and it just gives you an extra extra bit of flavour. Otherwise it'll just die in the windowsill. We've got loads of like um African shops in Leeds Market. I should go in and have a look. See if they have. Yeah, I'm not going to use too much, but it's just it's just enough to for decoration. And, uh, so five minutes for cod. This is looks amazing. Uh, right, lime. Chop that up in a second. So it says serve the curry over rice with coriander and a squeeze of lime, which is optional. So. Nice line right to one side. Let's get some bowls. Who's ready for food? Uh, do you have a Caribbean supermarket? I think we do, Melanie, somewhere. <laughs> I think it's in North Leeds. We don't have many you know, in South Leeds. Why well, have I got a plate out? <laughs> so we're going to take some bowls. our rice. I should have done some naan bread, shouldn't I, with this? Do we have enough time? No, actually I don't need any naan bread. It's a different type of curry. It's coming together nicely now. So we're going to take the rice. It's perfect this. Hi Alexis, good to see you. So we're doing, this is a go and fish curry. So I'm just going to pop the rice in the bowls. We added more tomatoes in so it's sort of, that the, the curry itself without the meat is enough for four people. But I like, I find that curries can be quite dry depending on how much you put in. And when I made this last time I didn't use I didn't use can of tomatoes, I just used not like a normal tomato. So it was quite dry. So we've made enough for sort of four people, the sauce, the curry itself. And then got enough cod. We're using cod. You can use shrimp or prawns or chicken for this if you wanted to. So, so there's the, uh, we've got some lime and we've got some coriander. So. Just going to make sure that I don't want to overcook it. It smells really nice. So I'm going to give it about two or three more minutes and then it should be ready. So, you, Melanie says you can get some amazing things from those. Yes, yes. I'll have to, I'll have to go and have a look, see what they have. So, uh, right, so yeah, just waiting for this to cook and then I am finished. So thanks all for coming in and watching me cook. And if you've been taking notes, I don't think this is a difficult recipe. As I say, all you need is the flavour pot. And then obviously, the, you know, you, you can get rice quite easily. You know, you can get tomatoes quite easily. And then whatever meat, if you want meat, you can add meat or you could have it with tofu maybe. Or some or um, jackfruit. Melanie likes jackfruit. So all you need is one onion, two tomatoes or tomatoes, chopped tomatoes, coconut milk, and masala paste, coconut paste, and a spice blend. And everything else is sort of optional. So I think that's nearly ready. Cod doesn't take long. I'm going to give it one more minute just to be on the safe side. So, do I have a rice cooker? No, unfortunately I don't. I do have a, I have a slow cooker. I have a slow cooker. I'm thinking about, I might, might bring the slow cooker back out next week. Or the week after and do some 
We'll do some slow cooking recipes. If you've ever got anything you would like me to do, or a theme, slow cookers would be a, we could bring the slow cooker back. So, right, I think this is ready. This is ready, guys. Yum, 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 yum. Right, where's my thing? So, we're going to pour this onto the curry. So, oh, yes. With lots of sauce. This is going to be heaven. And one more. So, there's one, guys. Although I've not finished yet because I need to put some coriander on. Look, let me turn this off. As I say, the sauce, I like I like more sauce on my curry. It'll soak into the into the rice. Oh, this is gonna be hot. Sorry, it looks quite a lot, doesn't it? But it's really not. Oh, I'm getting Everywhere. Move this down. Okay, there's a little bit of cod left in that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just chop up some parsley and parsley and coriander. Don't need loads. Usually would use my pizza cutter. I'm just doing it really quickly. Could have added that to the dish, couldn't I? But it goes on the. Uh, I'm just going to add some of this on the top, just for a little bit of flavour. Just like that. And then we're going to put a squeeze of lime juice on. I'll just do the other one. Oh, it smells so fresh. Okay, so just going to add a little bit of lime juice, squeeze of that on, here we go, all the way over, and then do it on that one as well. And there we have it, guys. So thank you for coming in. I'm off to go and eat this. It looks absolutely delicious. So, or cilantro, yes, cilantro, <laughs> cilantro. So thanks for coming in everyone, thanks all for your support and we're back on tomorrow with another recipe so please join me for that. So have a really great um, rest of the weekend, whatever you're up to. This looks heaven doesn't it? So let me have a little taste, have a little taste of it on camera because you, you never get me to uh, eat. You, you, that's for restaurant quality that isn't it? So you've got the cod, you've got the tomatoes, the onions and the spices and everything. Let's have a taste. 